Howdy folks, I am Ruski L, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last one, we explored the motel that didn't have much of anything for us. We explored the cinema, which had which had a movie that we didn't watch, and had Electric Avenue that had a pretty good uh, plot drop about, um, about a reserve class at Hope's Peak Academy and how they fought with the primary class. So... Uh, and we finished our expo so we finished our exploration of the third island. In this one, uh, something's going down, and Sonia seems concerned. Uh, Hajime, over here! Please hold on. Sonia, uh, did something happen? Uh, just now, I went to the hospital, and it appears Makan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very dis serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange. Drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, uh, it appears. You're all the same as me. And that is? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there, but I also remember that person in the wind. Um, are those movies? What are you talking about? Like, is she getting her movies mixed around or something? Jeez, you're all so unrefined. It's, it, is Japan, it, it is Japan's legendary medical drama. That pers that person in the wind, aired in 1984, set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elitist senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. O hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? Uh, anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. Not really understanding what's going on, but I might as well head over. Um, I get the feeling we just found Fuyuhiko. There's Nagito. Oh, you're late, Ajime. Looks like you're the last one. How did you... How did you beat me here? We left from the same place. Are the others already here? Oh, there are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered in the room at the very back. You're not going with them? Miss Sonya... As expected from the Ultimate Princess, she, she cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feeling of us, feelings of us common folk. Uh, nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to get along with her. Reckless? That's an odd word choice. Since it's not going to be such a touching scene, a worthless ling like me would be a nuisance, right? A touching scene. Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Oh no, not at all. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out of this all long already, I'm sure it must be appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like it's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. Oh, you're right. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. Well, please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Still interested in that bulletin, but we'll just like, uh, we'll just move on. Man. Yeah, I get the feeling we we found uh, Fuyuhiko. What the heck? Um, that's scary as hell. That is really unnerving. So there's all these patient rooms. And we have aliens, and an operation going on. I don't like that. That is really unnerving. Oh, there's there's upstairs, even. Oh, I guess I can click. Oh, no, okay. It is worth clicking on. I wasn't sure whether that was actually going to be it or not. And we got ghosts. Oh, so we go from emergency to operation to the grave. Okay, I get it. So is it... I, I assume this is the room they're talking about? I can hear voices on the other side of this door. It sounds like they're all... They're all really here, but... What are they doing here? 
I had a feeling that something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be Fuyuhiko. What? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Fuyuhiko, are you all right? Her, it's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. Her, there's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. He's still pretty adamant about getting off the island. Which is not a bad thing. Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds. But they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. Uh, you're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Uh, who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Because, remember, um... Oh, because, oh, I guess he was trapped in the horde of... Dolls. We'll call, I, a horde of uh, mechanical dolls there. Because I was thinking, well, Monokuma was controlling her. Maybe he, maybe he just wanted to hurt him and teach him a lesson. Uh, maybe. Uh, Peko, Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes. Oh, that's an even better word. I knew I knew dolls was close to what they were going to go for. What they were going for. Uh, but if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. Uh, you think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That, that must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Uru knows. Yeah, he's still pretty shook up about the whole ordeal, I'm sure. After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. Um, I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. And no need to worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. I'll be the one who avenges you. Seriously, he's not dead. Um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Akane! Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. I know that. I just have to win, right? Oh, this is bad. She doesn't understand it all. <sighs> then do whatever you want. Hey, Nakamaru? You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However, I'm never going to do it to you again. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you're talking about sparring. Because, uh, it. But please, keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey, wait a sec, Nekamaru. It, it was my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world my um this is getting really uh euphemistic that sounds like a fake word that almost uh gets gets across the, gets the point across my body still hasn't forgotten and now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden look my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it it's got to be like a massage or something. Hey, you're kidding me. Is it what I think it is? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nick Morrow left the patient's room. Uh, hold on! I, I I can't live without it! 
With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling onto Nekamaru, Connie rushed out of the patient's room. I wonder what, what the, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, it's finally quiet! It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital! Humans are such foolish creatures! You guys haven't had much to say. Hey, Hiyoko? You're awfully quiet. It's nothing! Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyu. Well, I mean, he... Well, no, he didn't really try to... Frame... No. D maybe Fuyuhiko did attack Hiyoko at the lodge. And when I mean attack, but but I mean, uh, drugged. God, it's so interesting, because we... I feel like we still don't know what really happened in that beach house. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiro killed by Peko, and Hiko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? Like, no matter what it means, it, right? He's still talking about it. Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? God, you are such a stalker! Oh my god, I didn't expect that of you. A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Oh, who do we talk to? Who do we talk to? Probably him? Let me just, uh, glance around the room real quick, just make sure I'm not going to be missing another one of those stickers. Uh, ooh, gosh. Weird. Weird controls when trying to m navigate the camera. I'm glad so for you. I'm so glad for you, Hiko's life was saved. Uh, like Shiaki said, it must be due to Pekko. Uh, that's probably it. But I am getting a little tired. It must be from all the relief. Uh, we should head. We should leave the investigation of the new island for tomorrow and retire for the evening. I leave this matter entirely in your hands. Doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, she Sonia forcefully reminds me she's a princess. So what should we do? Do you guys want to call it a quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Oh, did I accidentally click on the wrong person? Shoot. Well, I guess I guess we're not talking to everyone else. Um, please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I will do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. I don't think, uh... I don't think, uh, Mikan's the one that Hiyoko hates the most anymore. Man. She's still glaring. Man. I guess I, I really missed out on that. I, I, I was kind of expecting Kaz to be the last one since he to talk to since he was the last one that spoke. For now, we decided to call it a day and head, headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my college much ur earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. And we, oh, oh yeah, the theater. I forgot about this uh, a little bit. Ha! Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? They're dark and brooding. And they hang out on rooftops covered in a bat costume. I try to convince them to come down. Superheroes like to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? Like mine! They immediately attack people in groups, because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? Oh, my poor henchmen. They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, and I won't forgive you, and laugh, you know? The lazy people will run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons, even if they're fighting someone who's alone and unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? I say way, I say you know way too often. They wear flashy costumes. Which means, they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists, who don't have many friends. Do you really want to admire people like that? And so, morning has come once more. We kind of missed the evening bell, interestingly enough. Ahem! <clears throat> Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! 
Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Whew. It's been a while since I've slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. And we will do so in the next episode. I get the feeling that we're going to be heading into free time here pretty soon. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.